About to go out for a hunt. Got the unrolled again. Got that one big yesterday. I just thought I'd show you my cage quickly. So, um, me brother from uh, Top of the Range Fabrications made this. It's got your four pins across there. I'll see how it goes. If um, they start to fall off, I'm gonna put our pins through these, similar to what's through this, but a bit heavier duty. This is also a way bar. So if we pull that out, pull that out and get to the next hole, there, you just line that back in, put your lift and lock off there, away you go, we should lift a couple hundred kilos, it's pretty strong, um, only thing we are going to improve is stick a wing nut in there, so uh, you can tighten it up to stop any rattles, um, as well as that, so you see it's pretty easy to put back in. As well as that, uh, all the doors are hinged, so that magic hinges. We're not sure how we're going to connect this back onto the ute yet, but so if you wanted to hunt out of there, so your cage is full, you've got nowhere for the doors. Put the doors right round, back onto the back, lock them on there. Uh, maybe some sort of strap or something like that, some loop on strap, and uh, away you go. So you can open both doors like that. There's top of the range fabrications as well. Then as well as all that, oh, as well as all that, these doors all lift off. I won't lift them off because I've only got one hand, which I'm showing you, but make it hard to put it all back together. As well as that, got the storage in the top, so you can get this however you want, but I wanted a mesh floor so that, oh, let's reach it, a mesh floor so that uh, I can just clean it out easy. I'm not going to put stuff in here that uh, obviously can't get dusty. So more stuff like um, max tracks. If you wanted to, you can put the doors in there. Um, recovery gear, anything like that. So uh, yeah, you got that in there. There's actually a fair bit of storage in there. And of course you can use that mesh to hold it down. Close that back up. And if we go around to the other side, inside, we also have a divider, so not much rattle out of this either, which is good. Um, so yeah, the divider, just a, well, I call them a pin, I don't know what everybody else calls them, probably some proper term. Um, a little bit of foam up there to stop the rattle. Open that up, got a few sets of dogs, or ones you want to use when the others aren't being used. Oh, there we go, whack that across. Away you go, perfect. Um, you can also lift this off if need be. I'm not sure why you'd want to, but the option is there. All the hinges are greasable. Um, and yeah, so open that back up. I don't need it at the moment. Put that in. Fairly easy to put back in place. Uh, there's your door back on the back. Close him up. And. Uh, yeah, that's it, mainly. Um, something a bit different, more of a tray sides kind of style. Nice to have something different than every cage ever made with checker plate. Um, yeah, just the flat bit of alley up there. Um, it's not the shiniest right now. As you can see, I had a pig hanging off here yesterday. Um, and other than that, uh, it's all 40 mil, 40 mil alley, so as opposed to all the cheap cages you get from the bloody hardware shops and everything else that crack. And um, when I said I was building an alley cage, heaps of people were like, don't get an alley cage, it'll crack. My cage cracked, right, right, right. And what'd you pay for it? I think $800 or something from bloody Bunnings. Of course it cracked. Bloody 25 mil alley is always gonna crack. So 40 mil, 
safe as houses, won't crack. It's exactly what you need. Um, yeah, there's, you know, as the, as the old saying goes, buy it once, buy it right, that's it, then you're done. So, anyway, we'll get back to hunting. And, uh, yeah, Stu's also got a cage from him. Uh, next time I'll see him, I'll get a bit of a demo on that. And, uh, yeah, it's, in my eyes, I've only had it for a couple days, but it's the bee's knees. It's exactly what I want. Um, of course, not everybody wants the same thing. You can get it built different or however you want. But, um, yeah, I reckon it's pretty good. So, just going for a bit of a walk. Okay. Pretty thick stuff, but, you know, I don't know. swamps I headed back to the creek line hoping to find them bedded up in the shade in the heat of the day. Dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. So that was, oh, I'm shaking. That was very bizarre. I'm pretty sure Minty found that pig. She went out and she come back and she's she's looking back like like a bit scared, like, hey guys, there's a there's a pig over there, what are you doing? And um yeah. <laughs> anyway, I think Pepper sort of followed her back and next minute Digit must have found it, started barking and yeah, we were on. Bloody oh, yeah. Good deal, Peppa, that's enough. That's enough, he's not a bad boy. Not a bad boy at all, he'd be. Oh, he wasn't that big, he'd be 60. That's enough, that's enough. Yeah, it didn't take long to pull him up. I was a bit worried because once you get up there, it is just, well, it's higher than my head, long grass all the way, so. Yeah, no, pretty close. That's enough, that's enough. Thank you, Minnie. Yeah, bloody hey, that's enough. That's all I think, so. So, yeah, here's a ball, minty, thank you, get behind it, thanks, there you go, get your plate over there, sit, sit, stay, 
day. A yeah, little boar that Minty just found. Study. Good little boar. And yeah. Like I said, she sort of come back from well, I was back there, but come back to me, duck through like sort of in a bit of a hurry and I was looking back like oh, oh you know. And what I was thinking is because there's a few stray cattle around here. I was thinking oh, I was a scrub bull or something up there and she's bloody shit herself. But yeah, just keep in mind Minty isn't having to go at pigs yet, but she sort of did just then for the first time. So I'm thinking, oh yeah. And then I think it's a bit weird that Digit and Pepper aren't sort of moving around too much or Digit Pepper come back. But yeah, next thing I know, comes bloody Digit starts barking and the dog will take off. And yeah, just around the corner there she found it. Quick tip for you guys, if you need to drag a pig out of somewhere, always hook the rope around his jaw or um, yeah, pretty much just his jaw because if you're pulling it forwards, all the legs and everything fold backwards allowing you to pull it through sort of tight timber and whatnot. Um, and yeah, all the bristles face the right way, it just makes your life so much easier. Stay. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions regarding the cage or um, anything else, give us a message either on here or Facebook or otherwise Top of the Range Fabrications on uh, Facebook and I'm sure they'll be more than willing to help you out. Cheers guys.